welcome to banahene tutorial collections in this video we are going to learn how to create a random picker in microsoft powerpoint which is a presentation software now this question comes in mind what is a random picker according to my personal definition a random picker is a mechanism or a system developed or designed to randomize items objects or individuals to perform a tax at a given time according to google random picker is a versatile tool that allows you to take a tough decision easier or it helps you to randomly select item from a range of items let's look at a practical illustration of this random picker let's assume you are a tutor or a teacher in the classroom with your student and you have about 15 to 20 students you want to select a portion of your student to perform a tax and when you try to orally and manually call this student it becomes unfair if this children or students are not ready to perform this tax therefore you can create this particular game that is to write numbers on papers from one to eight then the remaining 12 leave them blank fold these papers and place it on the table and allow each student to pick one paper and at the end each student who is going to have a paper with a number that student is going to be assigned a tax to perform and this becomes a random selection and this is a fair decision we can also apply this to an institution where we have a presentation ongoing where you have some staffs or employees which you want two or more of these staffs to perform a tax in the process of the presentation you can also use this trick by writing some numbers or names or any object based on what you are presenting on paper fold it and place it into a bowl and allow each employee or staff to pick one of these papers and at the end whoever has a paper with a name or a number has a tax to perform we are going to base on this illustration to create such random picker in microsoft powerpoint and if you are in the class you can use this to select a student to answer a question or any tax that based on what you are teaching in the classroom or what you are presenting to the student so without any further ado let's jump right in and see how to perform this random picker in microsoft powerpoint now i have my screen and i want to open microsoft powerpoint i'll move straight to the start button then in the start menu i'm going to search for powerpoint and i'm going to have the best match which is the powerpoint software i'm going to have a once click on it now anytime you open microsoft powerpoint you are going to have this interface known as the home screen we are going to choose blank presentation because we are going to create our own design based on the random picker now this is our front stage view of microsoft powerpoint to have our safe area to perform or create our design we are going to make sure that this slide area is blank because we have these text boxes in this slide area so what we can do is to select all these text box then we hit the delete key on the keyboard you can also right click on the slide area choose layout and choose blank we also have this slide representing this slide area you can also right click on this choose layout and choose blank so that we can have a blank slide area to create our design now that this is done we are going to the insert tab under the insert tab we are going to choose shapes and i'm going to use a rounded rectangle shape to perform this task so i'm going to select this and draw this particular shape now that this shape is drawn i want to make sure that this shape is snug to the middle and center of this light area so i'll move back to the menu bar and we have this additional tab known as shape format and under the shape format we have this arrange group and we have this align option click on the drop down arrow choose center click once again and choose middle now this shape is perfectly in the middle and center of this slide area now i'm going to select the shape move to shape format and under the shape styles group i'm going to select shape fill and then choose no fill we have this outline we are going to increase the outline and also change the color of this shape outline 
so we go back to the shape styles choose shape outline and i'm going to select black go there once again and go to width and i'm going to increase to six points so that we have this outline given to this shape now this shape is drawn we need to add some text to this shape simply select the shape right click and in the options we have edit text you have this Kesa blinking so any text that you want to type into this shape i'm going to use six names of students i have in the class now i have typed the name in this text box but it is invisible so what we are going to do now is to select this test so i'm going to hold ctrl plus a on the keyboard move to the home tab and in the font group i'm going to change the font color to black then go to the font type choose times new roman and i'm going to change the size from 18 to 48 now the first part of this video is done the remaining ones are very simple just go to the slide pane and select the current slide in the slide pane hold ctrl plus d on the keyboard you're going to have a duplicate and since we want to have six names i'm going to make additional four duplicates of this current slide now i have six slides in my slide pin now let's move to the second slide and change the name and I'm going to change all the names of the remaining slides now I am done entering the names into this individual slide now let's move to the first slide we have some settings we have to configure to make this work so what we are going to do is to move to the slideshow on the menu bar and we have this setup slideshow and in this setup show dialog box we have this option that says loop continuously onto escape so i'm going to check this checkbox then click on ok now we move to transitions and we are moving to the timing group we have these options under the timing group and we have this on mouse click checked we are going to click on this and then choose after which means that we are going to have this duration between all these slides now to make this have an effect on these slides we are going to choose this option which says apply to all now all the settings configurations that we need to make this random picker works is already done so what we are going to do next is to view this in the slideshow mode and see if this is going to work so let's move to slideshow and then choose from beginning now we can see that this is taking effect all the names that we have in the boxes are randomly shuffling therefore if we want to pick a name out of this random picker we are going to use two keys on our computer keyboard so to select a name we are going to press the letter p and now this is the student selected in the class so if we have a task to be given to this particular student we can give it out and when we want to continue to give a task to another student we press the space bar on the keyboard and this starts to shuffle all these names and if we want to select another student we press the letter p and now this student is also selected So you can see how this random picker is working perfectly so as a teacher as i said earlier you can use this in your classroom maybe 10 minutes to end your lesson you can use to shuffle the names of the students and when your name pop up in the random picker then we have a task to be given to you so this is how to create a random picker in microsoft powerpoint if this video was lovely please give it a like and please consider to subscribe Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorials.